Samsung has had multi-window built into their devices for a while. And this feature comes back with the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. There are actually two different ways to activate multi-window. And I'm going to go over both of those today. The first way is to simply press and hold the Recents button. And then as you can see, we'll have two different sections of the screen. And then we'll have a list of applications that we have installed that also supports Samsung's multi-window. You'll notice that not all of my applications installed support this feature, but there are some third-party apps that do, like Solid Explorer and Twitter. So once you activate multi-window by pressing and holding on the Recents button, it's going to ask you to pick an application for the top. And then it's going to ask you to pick an application for the bottom. See right here we have two different applications open. And then we have this dot here in the center. If we press hold and drag that dot, we can actually resize the multi-window. As you can see, this is actually two full apps running. Now there's another way to activate multi-window and that is from the Recents page. You can do it anytime in the Recents page or if you already have an application open you can open up the Recents page and the application you were just in will be at the bottom to make it a little easier to activate multi-window. But you're going to see this icon to the left of the X on app cards for applications that are supported. So like as you can see here, the settings app is not supported by Samsung's multi-window. So all we have to do is tap on that icon and it will bring up that app in multi-window for the top part. Then we get that same application chooser at the bottom. And then we just have to select the one that we want to open in the bottom section.